Poor posture is difficult to prevent, and unless you're never using a phone or on a computer, it's inevitable that it will affect you at some point of your life. These days, our society is highly dependent on devices like phones, computers, or tablets that not only put a strain on our eyes, but also cause a forward head, rounded shoulders, and a slouched upper back. Most people know all these things and definitely feel the effects when their poor posture gets the best of them. But don't feel that it is necessary until it starts leading to other problems. Yes, that is right. If you don't address the mechanical limitations caused from your poor posture, you will soon increase your probability of developing shoulder issues, headaches, back stiffness, and if you're lucky enough, numbness and tingling in your hands. No need to worry. If you learn these four things, you will build a bulletproof posture that will keep you strong for the rest of your life. Let's get started with tip number one. Becoming aware of your environment. When you understand what postures your body is placed in on a daily basis, you will begin to start the first process of making change. Is it how often or the way you hold your phone? Is it poor ergonomics when you're using your computer at home or at work? Or is it your job which requires you to repeatedly do the same activities over and over? The key is to understand what factors might be contributing to your problem and become more aware of how to reduce your exposure to these things. Number two, learning how to take breaks. Learning how to set reminders on your phone or with a notepad when to take a break will be a lifesaver. Not only will it give your body a break, but it will also prevent you from spending long hours of the day in compromised positions. When we sit for long periods with a forward head, we compromise the efficiency of our ability to use our diaphragm to breathe. As a result, we begin to overuse our small neck accessory muscles, which exhaust easily and over time turn us into mouth breathers. It's pretty simple. Write a note to yourself and place it on a spot where you can't miss it. During your break, standing or sitting, take a couple slow, deep breaths, inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. You can even place one hand on your stomach to cue your diaphragm how to properly expand. This is one of my favorite techniques to immediately reduce stress during the day. Number three, stretch weekly. Having a simple and effective stretch routine to perform will help improve the flexibility in your shoulders, neck, and spine. The key is performing stretches that will help reduce any muscular imbalances that occur from our day-to-day -day activities. We will go into what specific stretches that I have found most helpful for your posture after we discuss our last point. Which brings us to number four, strengthen postural muscles. It is important that we not only focus on stretching the tight muscles, but also focus on strengthening the postural muscles located at our mid-back to help us maintain an upright posture during the day. These are muscles such as the rhomboids, mid and lower trapezius, and our erectors. These muscles help us stand tall and confident and prevent us from developing a rounded back. We will now get into the recommended exercises that will help you reset your posture and will prevent you from looking like the hunchback of Notre Dame. Beginning with the stretches. First, we will start off with the doorway pec stretch. This stretch is intended to open up your chest and anterior shoulder muscles, which get tight when our shoulders are rounded. Stand inside a doorway with your hands and forearms supported and parallel with the wall. You wanna keep your feet together and have a slight forward lean towards the wall. Try to keep your elbows at the same height of your shoulders, keeping your neck neutral, slightly lean your body forward until you feel a gentle stretch in the front of the chest and shoulders. If you don't have a doorway, you can even perform this in the corner between two walls. You will work on this for two sets with 45 to 60 second holds. Next, we will move on to the butterfly stretch. This is also another great way to reverse your rounded posture and will help promote thoracic extension. First, start by sitting at the edge of a chair with your hands behind your head, feet flat on the ground. Start by focusing on taking a deep breath and pulling your elbows back while extending your neck up towards the sky. You can even use both hands just beneath the skull to gently lift and provide your spine with a nice decompression. You will perform this with eight to 10 deep breaths. After we have improved the flexibility in our muscles, we will now re-educate them with some postural strengthening exercises. 
We will use the resisted chin tuck to begin with. Sitting in a chair with your back and feet supported, you're gonna use one hand to make a fist and place it facing up just underneath your chin. When you are ready, you're going to simultaneously apply an upward resistance with your fist while your chin is applying a downward resistance into your fist. You will begin to feel the muscles of the front of the neck activating, which will also allow the tight muscles of the back of the neck to release and lengthen. This is considered an isometric contraction, so your fist or chin should not be moving more than two to three centimeters. You will perform five reps with five second holds on each repetition. Now we will work on our posterior chain and back muscles, which will help us maintain an upright posture and prevent us from slouching. We will start with the prone eyes, T's, Y's on the ground. With each of these movements, you will focus on trying to keep your thumbs facing up towards the ceiling while keeping your elbows straight. Head and chin should be facing towards the ground. Move your arms in each direction to where your body creates the posture of the letter I, T, and Y. Start each movement by squeezing your shoulder blades before lifting the hands up off the ground. You should feel all the tiny muscles of the upper back activating and will most likely fatigue very easily, so make sure to take multiple rest breaks. You will focus on performing two sets for 12 to 15 times with each position. The last exercise we will complete is the bird dog. This exercise is imperative for not only building good core and glute strength, but also building up the posterior muscles of the spine. You will begin by starting on hands and knees, brace your abdominal muscles to stiffen the spine, then practice raising the opposite arm and opposite leg simultaneously while keeping your back flat and pelvis leveled. Do not allow your arm to raise higher than your shoulder or your leg to raise higher than your hips. Focus on keeping your movement controlled and reducing your range of motion if you feel unsteady. If this is too difficult, you can always practice this movement with only moving upper limbs or only moving lower limbs until you build enough coordination and control. You will focus on performing 10 controlled reps on each side. With proper awareness and practice with each of these postural exercises, you will be able to effectively improve your posture and reduce further unwanted injuries. Here is a recap of all the stretches and postural exercises we went over. You can screenshot this for your reference to have something to follow on your own time. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a comment and a thumbs up below. If you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button below and turn on your notifications so you never miss a new video. See you next time.